Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back to more La Mulana. In the last episode, we got the uh, glove and the scale sphere and the boots, and now I can run super fast. So, in this episode, we are going to go back to the Temple of the Sun, and we are going to do things. Back to the scanner here. Alright. Now, it will please you to know that we are just about done with the Temple of the Sun here. There's only a few little things we have left to do, and that ledge is never coming back. Alright, we want to talk to the guy in this spot here. There is a man, and there is also a woman. You must not use weapons inside the woman. If you wish to solve the riddle of the temple, proceed into the next room. Yes, I wish to solve the riddle here. It's the only way to get the Ankh Jewel. I do not need to be there just yet. Ankh. Go. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill these guys so they don't get in my way. Just stand under this eye here for like five seconds and it will trigger that and you will get the Ankh Jewel. The weight itself, it, I, the pedestal itself is actually a trap. For now, anyway. I think there's a way to disable it using that uh, seal up there. I'm not entirely certain it's been a while since I've played this game. Anyway, now we have our Ankh Jewel. What we want to do is not get stuck there. I forgot to equip my, uh... You who has solved all the riddles, proceed below. I have not solved all the riddles. Now, sometimes when you talk to the Elder, he will say you might have me meditate under Ujat to do nothing, just pray. That is the answer to the puzzle we just solved, so that is kind of useless. Oops. I do not need to go through there. Wait, what the heck am I doing this for? I'm an idiot! Ugh. Anyway... As long as it is time for stupid times... That was pretty stupid of me too, I gotta say. Um, I believe we are supposed to... Kill the bats. I would hope they would let me attack them. Okay, no, that was not the answer. <laughs> so we must climb back up, and it's a good thing Lomiza can run super fast now because this episode would take forever without, because we're going to be doing a lot of running around. Maybe. What we actually want to do is kill all the enemies in this room, I think. Yeah, that will make a pedestal appear here, which will drop the minecart down to the floor where we can actually do things with it. For example, pushing it. As you can see, it takes a lot less effort to push the to push things now. We have a glove. Ouch. We can also run up slopes now that we have the uh, boots. 
which is why I went to such trouble to get it early. Anyway, we want to push the minecart down there. And use that as a platform with which that from which we can kill this enemy. Assuming it comes down here on the touch suit. Come on, I just wanna kill you. There. Now, prepare for one of the most awesome boss fights in the game. You'll wanna have your sh you'll wanna have a lot of shurikens for this fight. It's a minecart chase against some crazy lizard thing. This guy's name is Elmac, and he is not that difficult of a boss if you remember to uh, jump over those fire things. Oops. Yeah, you want to have the knife out too, so you can. Uh... Yeah, for some reason I keep forgetting to hit the switches. There we go! Oops. This will not do at all! Hard. Okay, I guess the pattern is too high, too low. Whoops. I am definitely going to die here. Ugh. Where are you going? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing. But hey, we got it! She just kind of skids to a halt there, and it's totally awesome. Anyway, now we've done that, we can go claim our prize. Find the mirror. The mirror reflects the truth of the ruins. All has a front and back. Two or one. We got the bronze mirror! Now let's just go save and prevent this epic failure of a boss fight never happened. Or whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway. Now we have the bronze mirror, we can finally access the back of the ruins. If you want to know what I mean by back of the ruins, keep watching. The tablet said that all things have a front and a back. The ruins are no exception to this. You can see now that in place of the eye block that once stood here, there is a door with the numeral 3 on it. The 3 means that we have to we've beaten boss number 3 to be able to open this door. That is not much of an issue now. Welcome to the Temple of Moonlight. This area is linked to the Temple of the Sun, obviously. And there are things that happen here. Oh no! Hehehehe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So what do we want to do in this beautiful female temple, as the Waypoint tablet calls it? Well, there are a couple of things. First and foremost is not dying. Trim the pyramid. Good. 
Beyond here lies the Chamber of the Demons, the God of Death. Okay. Let's go. This is a newbie. Will drain your life and be kind of vaguely, mildly annoying. But if you pick up the Book of the Dead here, he can do nothing to you other than collide with you and be just kind of an annoying enemy in general. With that in mind, we are going to. get distracted. Now, go away, cat ball. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you right now. You know, my things. do is I believe we want to hit the one that is smiling. Yes. That opens the way for <laughs> Okay, let us go back up there. Um I get the <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is something in this treasure chest, but I have no idea what, actually. But we'll probably need a key fairy there. Key fairies can be summoned by combining Qbert with Diviner Sensation and standing over those uh, sparkly summon points. You're not have that right now, though. There is this thing here. That one is power, risk, bye bye. Yeah, okay. You need the boots and the knife for this. But what you want to do is attack this little thing here until it goes down and then run! Ooh, that hurt. But we got the axe. The axe is a weapon that is very slow but very powerful. There are also certain things only the axe can break. Likewise, there are certain things only the whip and the knife and the other two weapons can break. So keep that in mind. Oi! Weights on the pedestals and do <laughs> this order. And it gets us the map. Now I can see what this place looks like. Now, as you can see, there are things over here to be gotten. So we are going to get them. And yeah, that waypoint tablet will be a little difficult to get to, perhaps. Whoa. This is a temple of moonlight, like the lovely female temple. Now, once we get a certain ROM combo, we can uh, use the Grail to work directly to here instead of having to go through the Temple of the Sun every time. And that's pretty good. 
Yeah, you know what I'm gonna say, that's pretty great. Anyway, we want to make that drop here. Be careful not to land on that platform, because it will crumble. If you think you want to land on it. Anyway, I was sure it was something here, but I guess not. But, it does let us get up here easier. Souls have weights. Joy, 20. Eloquence, 44. Honesty, 50. Prosperity, 63. Purity, 70. Passion, 81. And Love, 100. This is for a puzzle to get the final upgrade to the whip. You will want to memorize those numbers. Or keep watching this LP until we get those. Until we get to the numbers. Anyway. Want to fall down here carefully. Take out these skeletons because they are annoying. And we get the ice cape! Now we can swim in lava. How awesome is that? Alright, now, one thing we want to get over there before we end the episode off. Chipmunk time. Anyway, Pennant Race 2. And it is pretty obvious now that we are stuck, so we are going to use the Grail and load the Game Master, and we are going to save our game, and that will be all for today. So, see you guys next time!